What's up everyone, OpenAI just dropped a latest game changer in the search world. It's like ChatGPT but for all your burning questions. So SearchGPT is OpenAI's shiny new prototype search engine that's still in its exclusive closed beta. That's right, only the chosen few get to play with it. And for the rest of us plebs, well, there's a waiting list. After the big splash ChatGPT made, it was only a matter of time before OpenAI took a full swing at the search engine market. And here we are. SearchGPT aims to provide comprehensive answers to your queries using Generative AI. Imagine Google but with a brain. Pretty cool. Huh? Now, search engines typically handle three types of queries, informational, navigational, and transactional. And SearchGPT is all about those juicy informational searches. You know, they tell me everything about quantum physics type of questions. The other two, navigational and transactional, for now, they are taking a backseat. But don't worry, the AI overlords have plans for those two as well, because why not? And speaking of the overlords, let's talk about Google. You see, Google's been also trying to sneak AI into its search results, and it's not going that great. With browser extensions popping up just to remove the AI overviews, it's clear users aren't exactly thrilled. Now Google's probably sweating bullets because if search GPT catches on, their ad revenue could take a hit. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? After all, a chunk of Google's income comes from those sponsored ads sitting on top of search results. Less traffic means less money, it's simple math folks. But it's not all sunshines and rainbows for OpenAI either. Running a search engine costs money, a lot of it. So how will they fund search GPT? Premium subscriptions, ads, selling their soul to the highest bidder? Well, time will tell. And how can we forget about the fancy inaccuracies also known as AI hallucinations? So will OpenAI become the next big player in search? Or is it just a fancy tool for training algorithms? One thing's for sure, Google's got some serious competition on the horizon and we the users get another cool toy to play with. It's a win-win situation.